Okay, welcome back to Maker Monday Marble Game Challenge. This is part four, the final part of this particular challenge. And as always, the first thing we're going to do is rename this. So you go up to File, you're, you're opening up part three, and then you're going to rename it as part four. So click File, go to Save as a Copy. I already did that on mine, but you click Save as a Copy. Click up here, change it to Draft 4, and I'm going to change the end, the um, title, and I'm going to change it to Add Obstacles, because this is where we take what we've got and we're adding some other stuff to kind of get in the way and make the game a little more challenging. And so here's what we want to do is we want to currently, we have it set so that when you start this marble game, you can cruise along the road, and if you hit the grass, nothing really happens. And what we want to do is change it so that when you get off the road and you end up in the grass, that it slows you way down, which can make it more fun and, and encourage you to stay on the track and be a better marble driver. So what we need to do is go down. I'm uh, on the marble, the ball sprite, and I need to go down to the bottom because I'm going to add a new piece of code. And as always, we're going to go up to events and click on when clicked and what we want to say what we want to do before uh, we we set this up what we're going to make it do is that when the marble is cruising along and it goes from black into this green grass that something's going to happen to the speed and in our case we're going to actually multiply the speed by a number smaller than one so that it uh, drops way down and, and we called it velocity in our variables but that's what you're going to do you're going to tell it to multiply the velocity of the marble by less than one to slow it down. And so we need to go to our control blocks. We need to grab a couple things, a forever block, because we want this to happen throughout the whole game, like not just when we start it. And then we want an if blank then. And we drop that in. So this is going to be the, the code is going to be constantly looking for this situation. It's going to be looking for an if. And as long as you're on the road, it's not going to trigger it. But the moment you get off that road is when it happens. So we need to go down to sensing, and we're going to grab a touching color sensing block. And we're going to tell our marble to look for this green color. And what you have to do then is click on the little color um, container, and then grab the eyedropper, and grab a sample of that green color, and it fills in that box with the green color. And now we're all set. So now the marble is going to be looking for that green color. And whenever it touches that green color, it's going to do this part, the then. And what we're going to do is go down to variables and we're going to grab set my variable to zero, it says. Um, and we're going to change, we're going to switch that around. We're going to grab two of these actually. And we're going to make one for x velocity and one for y velocity. And then we have to add that, that little uh, operator that will tell us to multiply the velocity. So we're going to go up to operators, the green one, and then we're going to grab this one here. That's It's got a little asterisk, but that's the multiplication symbol that they use. So we grab this in and make sure it's going into that container, another one. And now we have to take, go back to our variables, and we have to actually put x velocity and y velocity in these um, in these containers. So we grab x velocity and put it, make sure it lines up with the x um, variable, and then y velocity, grab it down here, make sure it actually goes into those containers and doesn't take up, replace the multiplier. And then we just plug in some numbers. And I'm going to start with just a little bit less than one. I'm going to start with 0.95, so 95% of the original speed, and do the same thing down here 0.95, and then uh, then that's it. We can test it out. So go ahead and you have to hit the green flag again to start fresh and let's see what it looks like. So cruising along with my marble and I swerve up onto the grass and oh, sure enough. And look, the numbers go kind of crazy because you're multiplying by a decimal so that the results are going to be just pieces of what they originally were. And mine's a little laggy because I'm doing a screen recording, but um, it do it's definitely noticeable. The speed drops the moment moment you hit that green grass, it drops way down. And then let's get to the end of the level. So then it motivates you to want to stay on that track if you want, if you're going for speed. And oh, yeah, okay. 
Oh, it slows you way down. That's nice. And you could even tweak those numbers. Like if you wanted to slow it down even more, you could lower that number from 0.95 to 0.90 or 0.85. And you'll see that it makes a huge difference. In fact, I'll test that out right here. If I go down here and I change this to 0.85, then you'll see that it slows down even more significantly. I gotta restart and then try go over here, cruising along and Ooh, yeah, look at that, it's like molasses. That's really gonna wanna make me stay on that track if it's gonna slow me down so much. In fact, I think I like it like that. That way I'm encouraged to just be a more careful driver rather than barreling through. And the, yeah, so far a lot of fun. In fact, I um, I think that's it. <laughs> so I got some time. Why don't I add a little one more bonus feature? Oh, I don't know if you just noticed that. It was kind of interesting. As my velocity changed, it eventually got to zero and then just stopped. It just it got lower and lower and lower until it got to zero. I'll show you that again. So if I start to move and then I just let it go, boop, 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 it keeps dropping because it's constantly multiplying by less than zero, less than one, until it gets down to zero and you stop altogether. Um, Okay, so that's it for the marble game. Let me show you one kind of cool thing you can do. And this is actually a simple uh, addition you can make to make this game a little more fun. If I go down to my sprite, my ball down here, I'm going to actually call this. Let's try this. I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to go to duplicate. And I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to call it ball A, and I'm going to call it ball B. And then if I hit, if I hit start, they both end up right on, they both have the, when I duplicate the sprite, I also duplicate the code, which means the moment I hit ball, or I hit uh, the start flag, both ball A and ball B went to the same place, and they've got the same controls that control them. So here's the fun part is I can actually tweak this a little bit. I can, um, so say I want to have ball A be like right next to ball B so that I can tell the difference between them and so that they uh, aren't on top of each other. And, and um, let's see, let's go to one of our tracks so that we can see this. Uh, go to my backdrops, change my backdrop to one of the, ones with the road. Okay, so now I'm going to position them right on the road, and I may have to tweak my roads a little bit because I, I wasn't planning for having two sprites, and they may not fit on all the roads in the same spot. But um, So now ball A, what I have to do is change the starting position of ball A. And um, ball B, I'm going to actually change its color. And you notice you have that choice when you're looking at costumes. I'm going to make ball B blue. Ooh. I have to just shrink it down now. Oops, I hope I can do that. Yeah, okay. And then make sure I put it back on top of its center point. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I get it just right, the same size as... Close enough. Okay, now center it again. All right, so there we go. Now, if I go to... Um, all oh, right, position. Okay, so if I go to ball A and I go to the code, I just want to change my starting position. And I'm going to change it to the current position of the ball. The current position is right here, 225, negative 7. So if I go back up top, actually, I can leave 230 the same, but I do want to change this to negative 7. Negative 7. Whoops. Negative 7. So now I've got, when I start the game, the, the um, ball A is going to go right here and ball B is going to go up there. And so now I have to click on ball B and look at its position, 226, 17, positive 17. So go up here and I can leave the X position the same because I actually do want it just as far over as I can get it. And then I go to positive 17. And now if I hit go, 
perfect. Okay, so both of the marbles are going to be on the track and next to each other. And now what I want to do is I want to change the controls of ball B so that we can have And that means instead of up arrow or down arrow, I'm going to use the um, WASD controls on the left side of the keyboard. Two people could play this at the same time. So now I want Y velocity up arrow, so the ability to go up, I want to change that to W. So I'll go down to W down here. And then um, down arrow, I want that to be S. And then right arrow, I want that to be D. Oops. There we go. C, D. And then left arrow, I want that to be A. Okay, this will be cool. All right, start it off. Now, suddenly, oh, what happened? Oh, no, I forgot something. I have to set two different sets of um, variables. Uh, okay, well, I can do that real quick. This is making this a lot more complicated. I thought I could do it simply, but I have to have down here, I have to change these variables and I have to make a new set for marble B and then s switch everything to the marble B variables. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got us into trouble. Let me try this. Okay, so let me see if I can just rename these. Rename variable. Okay. So now this will be x velocity a and x velocity b. No, excuse me, x velocity a and x velocity y. Y velocity a. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is going to take a little while. Okay, so let's make some new variables. <laughs> Ugh. X velocity B and Y velocity B. And if you've gotten in this far, this is getting kind of advanced, so I um I don't blame you if you back out and you call it done. So there we go, I've got my two sets. Now I need to go to ball B and I need to change everything to X velocity B, Y velocity B, Y velocity B, and X velocity B, X velocity B. And I need to change these to B as well, and these to B as well. Oops, those ones I have to actually drag and drop. So it's x velocity b, and I'm saying this out loud because I'm saying it's y velocity b, x velocity b, y velocity b. Now I have to swap these out. x velocity b right there instead of, and get rid of this, and y velocity b, and get rid of this. Okay, last one I have to do is one down at the bottom. Um, X velocity B, Y velocity B, X velocity B, and Y velocity B. There we go. Okay, whew. So now if I start it out, fingers crossed, it should work. Oh, sure enough, we've got a separate set of controls. Cool. Okay. Well, that's that. That's how you make a marble game.